paralyzed by a mysterious illness, and now she's being denied home nursing care. The night team's Susie Steinmel met with the family and has the exclusive story tonight. This is Ronna Fleming about a year ago. As a gymnast, she was able to contort her body in ways most of us can only imagine. This is Ronna Fleming today. Now her paralysis limits her physically in ways most of us can only imagine. But this is somebody who is very physical and very physically fit, now confined to a wheelchair. December 15th of last year, Ronna had to be picked up from gymnastics practice because she was not feeling well. At the hospital, she stopped breathing. When she came to, she was paralyzed from the neck down. They still don't know what caused it or what happened. Now her parents face an even bigger battle, this time with their insurance company, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dealing with the insurance is just been a nightmare. The Fleming's insurance policy clearly states skilled nursing is covered. What isn't specified is how much. They had 24-hour nursing care when Ronna left the hospital. Two weeks later, the nurses just stopped coming. We paid them a lot, yeah, about $1,200 a month. And you just don't feel like you're getting what your plan says you're supposed to? I, I know I'm not. Ronna's parents say she received excellent care here at Hasbro Children's Hospital. In fact, they say they never would have taken her out of the hospital had they not been promised at-home skilled nursing care by their insurance company. Blue Cross Blue Shield did not make anyone available for an interview for this story, but they did release this statement. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Rhode Island understands this has been an extremely challenging time for the Fleming family. Initially, we chose to provide private duty nursing services, which are not a covered benefit. We went above and beyond the Fleming's policy, then shifted to the appropriate level of nursing care. That appropriate level of nursing care is none at all. Rana may never be able to do gymnastics again, but she works tirelessly with her physical therapist every week to regain movement. Most recently, she's been able to hold herself in a standing position with a walker. She's clearly not out of the woods yet, but she isn't giving up. And neither will her parents when it comes to getting the best care available for their daughter. In Charlestown, Susie Steimel, NBC10 News.